Hey GB gang, you already know the vibes. In today's vlog, we're going to be moving from London back to Leicester. We're moving into my second year at uni house. I don't think I mentioned this in the vlog, but I'm going to be recording a moving in vlog, a cleaning vlog, and then a house tour. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see all of that. <laughs> Guys, right now I'm with Simi. Hi everybody. If it will focus, hey because anyway, they'll see you focus later. We're on our way to Lidl because I'm starving. We're going to go get our stuff. Yep. And we'll be back shortly. So we've just arrived at JP's Ocom. We left some of our stuff there over summer because we weren't really trying to put it in storage and because we just have too much stuff to be honest and isn't his outcome just absolutely beautiful last year i did start a vlog explaining the whole house hunting process and how we went about finding a house for the second year so if you guys are interested in that let me know and i'll finish it off and post it i also showed some of the houses that we went to view and it's just vibes to be honest somebody please tell me why when me and simi were trying to book an uber xl there was none and then simi was trying to tell me that uber doesn't have drivers anymore and i was thinking that can't be true but there was actually nobody available there was no drivers there was no waiting time there was no nothing we literally sat on the floor and waited for about 15 minutes before we were able to even try to book a cab and i think simi was able to end up getting an uber and please tell me why i ordered a cab and I accidentally ordered a black cab. Like, I didn't realize I was ordering a black cab. At first, I was annoyed because I'm thinking, cool, it's a black cab and it's not going to be able to fit all my stuff. But it actually did, apart from my nail table. But I'm going to have to go back and get that. I'm not even going to lie. At this point, I should have just given you guys an empty house tour because now you would have never known what it looks like empty. When I was packing my stuff last year, I bought loads of boxes from Amazon and I labelled them so that when I came back I would know what's in them. So I'm just showing you guys what's in some of the boxes. Some of it you might not understand, but I understand. And that's really all that matters to be honest. So you guys are just now currently watching me struggle up the stairs. I must have walked into that wall on the left about five times at least because there's a little bit of a curve to it and I kept on just walking into it and my box kept hitting it. At this point I was just sweating like a cow because my room is literally like on the top floor well the highest it's just high up and what i walk in is a big no for me to be honest i'm just gonna have to firm it because i really like my room so it just is what it is <laughs> the landlord left mattress toppers on our beds they were fresh so i was just putting it on mine and i didn't really do much i was literally just about to go get ready to go work in a sec because i was going to be doing up night shifts but i explained later that that is not happening ever again guys the time is literally 2 27 ask me if my shoes are on ask me if i'm wearing socks Ask me if I'm ready <laughs> and they're outside. <laughs> Bye. Guys, so since I've come back to Leicester, I literally had like a 40 minute nap, maybe 30, maybe 20 if I was lucky. And then my mom with Kayla was doing up night shifts and now we need to go back. She just got back and made my bed for the first time well not the first time ever but the first time since i got back because i literally never had time to and hopefully i slept after this but i don't remember but i hope i slept because i deserve sleep my room still looks like a mess because i haven't disinfected anything so i'm not trying to unpack hey guys, so i'm just about to set up my ring light i'm gonna set up my ring light then i'm gonna go shopping because i've not eaten in how many days i came here <sighs> not missing on the floor I obviously came here with no groceries. I just came with myself and some clothes and vibes. Me, Simi, Ellie and some other people left some of our stuff at jps.com so I grabbed that stuff but it's not everything. I'm waiting for my uncle to bring the rest of my stuff from London which I left at home 
and I need to yeah as I said grocery shopping when I went to bed last night guys I cannot kill myself I just cannot kill myself in this Leicester place since I've come back sorry there's no blood circulation in my legs I need to stretch them out the way I've been sleep prepared is actually crazy I'm gonna have to stop working night shifts and it was only two days but it's not for me these night shifts in particular not for me why is my throat dry? Why is my throat still dry? I've not sat down and spoke to you guys in so long, so I feel like everything's just moving a bit slow. I made a shopping list before I slept last night because in my head, I thought I was going to go to bed. I thought I was going to sleep, wake up around 9.30, go to Lidl, get some stuff, cook, eat, then sleep again. But when I woke up, it was like 9.56 p.m. So I'm back to bed. I literally slept for like 12 hours. Went to bed at 7 p.m., woke up at 7 a.m. That's why I've not even like tidy up my room yet nothing's organized yet well it's more small looking all right but like my bed's laid and whatnot i really just wanted to let you guys know the plans for tomorrow and what i've been doing now i went shopping at little i think i told you guys that i didn't take you with me because i wanted to be quick and i still wasn't quick because i was meant to buy a week's worth of shopping but i ended up buying like quite a few things because i didn't really want to go back i'm still gonna have to go back eventually but i don't want to go back anytime soon so yeah um I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll update you on what I actually end up doing. Hey guys, so today is the next day and it's the afternoon, early afternoon. Let me check the time. I think this is the first time I've ever actually checked the time on my watch ever. Um, It's like 4.43. It's like 4.43 and I need to go to town. I need to go grab that perfume that Leah and Kyra have been promoting or whatever they've been doing. They've been recommending it. I need to grab it before I cannot find it anymore i need to grab it before it potentially gets sold out i guess it's been a while but we're going now finally and simi's coming as well and we're gonna basically run some errands but not really but kind of so just watch guys there's our um, boat over there here's simi say hi at this point we're actually just trespassing because we've broken in again to take the rest of our stuff i still didn't manage to grab my nail table because i had other stuff i needed to take but i'm gonna get that Guys, we got caught up in the rain. It's not fun. I'm a walking in it, but we'll get there soon enough. On the way to Zara, where we belong. Hey guys, good morning GB Gang. It's the next day today. I didn't really end yesterday's vlog like that, but we're gonna keep it stepping. I'm unboxing this, and I just wanted to stop to say, I'm making an unboxing TikTok first of all, but I wanted to stop to say, I can smell it through the box. Guys, I can smell it through the box. I hope this perfume lasts long. Like Zara perfumes normally smell nice, but I don't like to buy them because they don't, they don't last long. Like the smell don't last long. But this is actually other perfume and not toilet, so. I hope it actually stays on for good, like, you know, for long. Um, yeah, I'm not actually gonna open it, open it on camera because I'm doing that on TikTok. So you can watch on my TikTok instead. I basically blind bought this and I'm gonna create another honest review in a different video. So watch out for that. I just wanted to quickly show you guys what we're working with in terms of the tidying up video. And I want you guys to know as we speak now, it's worse because the rest of my stuff from London is now here too. So come and clean with me because I'm not cleaning by myself. Thank you. Don't be silly. Why are you vlogging me? You're not even vlogging. You're just snapping me. Stop. Good morning, Ganku. Say hello to the vlog. Hello. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Show them my speaker. 
this is lovely this is gonna wake up everybody no mostly people all these people how are you gonna get the stuff on your into your room stairs help did you bring my ring light yeah i brought everything thank you did you bring me food yeah. thank you <laughs> okay, let me show them the other stuff. Wait, there's more stuff inside the car. Food's here. Okay, so that's all the food you bought me. Is yeah. it sufficient? Have I got cheesecake in there? Okay, guys, I don't even remember if I showed you what it looks like empty, but it's not empty now, and we've not actually all unpacked. Like, this is all my stuff I cooked yesterday. I'm gonna warm that up and put it in the fridge. No takeaway, no more takeaway for me, boy. Um, now the fridge is kind of like we've kind of got small small food in there before it was just empty we were just starving and whatnot um i'll give you a proper tour when everywhere's proper done um there's a dishwasher i think that's it i've never seen a dishwasher in my life i've been a dishwasher my whole life i'm not gonna lie um some storage Guys, look at all these stairs I have to climb every day just to get to my room. It's exercise and like, it really makes me not want to leave. Like my room or the house or anything. <sighs> By the time I get upstairs, I'm huffing and puffing and I have to sit down. Is uncle up there? Yeah, yeah. Up we go. <laughs> oh, you have to have a, a party up here. Guys, this is the balcony. Please tell me why I'm not wearing any shoes. Anyways, we move. Ooh. It's basically the same view I get from my room. I fell down these stairs the other day. It wasn't fun. <laughs> Guys, let's look at the food my brother bought me. What is in my foot? My cheesecake. Ooh, it is Ameka, why is it empty? There's one. Wait, but it's not in there. What is this one? Oh, it must have fell out. Where did it fell out? You should have gave me a new pack. I saw you bought more. That's chocolate. Oh. That's cheesecake. You think that is it? Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. Guys, this is the best cheesecake. Best cheesecake you can get. There's some mince, Thanks, mince meat or whatever. Chicken. Mm -hmm. You didn't ask for chicken, but okay, thank you. Oreos, baked beans. You went a bit light on the baked beans, I can't lie. But oh no, you didn't. You got me two. Thank you. Because two will ask me. Chicken breast. I already have some chicken breast. The more the merrier. And some more. Guys, yeah, I'm good. This plus the food I have. Cooking for days. And aromat. That's what I needed. Aromat. Oh, guys, he's stolen my um, scooter. I don't know how far he thinks he's gonna get. Why was he not focusing? Somebody needs scooter 101 lessons. Okay, thanks. Give back my property. Bye, family. So, what are you gonna keep for us when you come next time? I'll get some water. Ah. And this is a contractual agreement that next time you come, you need to bring me wine and chocolate. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Why are you so awkward for? <laughs> And there they go, the last bit of family I had. Well, that's cat, but in less than. Ain't nobody know me here. <sighs> Guys, now I'm all alone again. At first it was just me and Simi here, and then Simi decided to up and leave me, and now I'm alone. It didn't go like that, but she had to go home, and now I'm here by myself. And I'm quite, <laughs> at the moment I'm lonely, but I don't feel like it's that bad, but I low-key feel lonely. I feel like if I actually tied up my room and clean it everywhere and everything, I wouldn't be lonely, I'd be relaxed. I think I'm, I feel lonely because I'm stressed because my room's not tidy, but if my room was tidy, I'd be relaxed, not lonely. So I'm gonna tidy up my room, but I have work at eight and it's like seven now. So I'm just gonna, might tell, might, I might tidy up a bit now. And if I don't, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna tidy now because I need to go somewhere later actually. I'm gonna tidy up as much as I can for now. Why am I standing still as if it's not a vlog, like I can't walk, it's not a sit down video. I'm standing still here. First of all, let me pack this food away into the fridge that they bought me. Well, to be honest, they didn't really buy it, but I told my brother to grab food from the fridge at home, the freezer at home. 
So yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> um, by the time my mom is watching this, the food would have been in my belly. So yeah. Mm. I'm actually excited to cook. Cause like ingredients and I didn't pay for them. This is what my drawers looking like. Well, one of my drawers and I have another one. Should I give you guys a tour of what I've got in my fridge and freezer? I might do that when I do my tour when everything is done. Cause that's part of everything that will be done. By the time Simi sees this video, everything will be nice and clean. I don't want to stress the girl cause when she comes back from home, this place is not supposed to be looking like how it's looking like. You understand? How can I forget? This is my drawer in the other freezer. And I just got some fish and chicken because I deep tip. My mum was like to me, when's the last time you ate fish? And ever since I started going uni, I stopped eating fish and I didn't even realise it until she said it. So yeah, I'm back to need to get back to eating fish. I'm gonna deliberately be buying fish and cooking meals with fish in it. The only time I ever eat fish is when I am um, eating prawns and stuff. Or like fish and chips, which rarely happens, or fish or fillet, whatever they call it, which also rarely happens. <sighs> Guys, I don't think I even said this how I should have said it, but this is the best cheesecake on the market if you're a cheesecake lover. Or maybe just because I really love salted caramel, but it's really nice. And they have a chocolate one too, but I just wouldn't try it because chocolate is just something I feel like should remain in chocolate. It shouldn't be a flavor of things, it should just be in a chocolate bar. But this laps. I think it's like three pounds for the two, but it's worth your money, trust me. Try it, I see. Hey guys, so it's currently a couple days in the future. If you made it this far, make sure you subscribe because you need to watch the cleaning bit and you need to see the house tour. The house tour is where it's gonna be at, so you can't watch this and not watch the house tour, you understand? So basically, I was editing the video and let me just show you. Who does this? Why have I stopped editing? on a bit of cheesecake. Instead of me to come and say bye, I'm showing you guys cheesecake. Quite embarrassing. Anyways, make sure you subscribe. Peace out, see you guys in a bit, bye.